Hey everyone, this is the Noble Artist here, and today in this tutorial Tuesday, I'm going to show you guys how to make several different vibroblade type weapons. I'm going to do a vibroblade axe, spear, and then a regular just sword or short sword, long sword. It doesn't really matter, so it's going to be a sword type blade. And I'm going to show you guys how to make all three of those. And this right here is the materials that I think I'll, I'll need, but before I get to, the, to these materials, I'm just going to step back a little bit. I did spend a good amount of time... Uh, the past couple of days and a lot of it last night trying to reorganize stuff. I need to get another piece of paper to put down here, but I ran out of tape. So I'm going to do that, get another piece of paper down. Um, so basically, I'm trying to organize everything to make it a lot more efficient to make customs. And it was just, I had too many distractions basically going on. And um, I'm not going to turn my, I'm not going to go over there, but I, I cleaned up the rest of my room. And I'll, I'll probably mention that in another update. But um, I just organized a lot of stuff and all these drawers are organized. That's why this looks different. I put this in front of me and I gotta redo this, um, these paints right there. But anyway, that's why things look a little different. A little dipper, I said a little dipper. A little different. Um, there's my a squad I'm working on. I put over a little dome. That's my GoPro case. And I put that over there so dust can't get to it. And I'm still working on something for those. Anyway, this diff, it, it looks different. I'm aware of that. Um, and, and yes, so anyway, for this video, um, these are materials that I think I'll need. I just kind of pulled them because um, when I redid everything, I'm trying to make it so whenever I do a new figure, I can just pull all the materials I need and then work on it and then put them back so I can avoid having the big mess that I used to have here. Um, I am still working on this figure. This is the You Pick I Paint. Um, I just had to get all this stuff done first. I really need to get these things straightened up. Um, so now that that is completed, um, I'm going to do this and then I will try to work on that. I got to work on some other stuff. I'm trying to do another video for my gaming channel. Anyway, um, what you'll need for this tutorial, I have, <clears throat> someone asked me this question, but the plastic that I use is basically, it's, I'm not sure how to describe it. it might have, I'm sure it has a specific name, but this is the plastic that comes with like electronics, um, pretty much everything that has a packaging on it that's plastic is this type of plastic. Granted, there's some that are thinner and thicker than others, but um, I'm not too sure where I got this because if I had an example, I'm looking around, I don't really have, I don't have anything I saw in the package, but you know what I mean. You know, toys, basically anything that has um, one of those packaging things around it. A lot of electronics have those, but anyway, you need plastic. That's what, what I have here. Um, and then I have fabric. I, I've used yarn for the handles before, which actually, in my opinion, is better but it takes some time to do that and this looks better, so I'm gonna do that. So you need a little bit of fabric. This is just a generic little piece I picked up. It's gonna be cut and everything. I don't know if I'll need metal. I think for one design, I'm gonna make the blade um, retractable, so that I will, you will need metal for that. So I just have a little slab of metal. I only have one here, but I'm gonna need more than that. Uh, toothpick, this is gonna be the base for the weapon itself. And then scissors to cut the metal and then glue to dry the, or, not dry, but glue for obvious reasons to, to put everything together. So, um, I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, I just hit a granola bar, so it's probably like, it's like stuck in my throat, and I'm probably going to be clearing it, but, um, so we will start with, I don't know, do you guys want to start with the axe first, or the, or the spear, do the sword, I don't know. Let's start with the, oh, I'll probably guess you need your exacto knife for this too. I'm going to start with the spear first, spearhead. So what I'm going to do is take a toothpick and I'm going to cut off the tip. That is going to be my scrap pile. Now this is optional, but I use a little bit of sandpaper to sand down the, the tips because usually when I cut these, they're a little bit a little rough. I don't like that. Um, now I could leave this design on the end of this toothpick. These toothpicks have like an ornate design um, on the back. And I'm gonna, hold on, I got a sweater on and I'm like roasting right now, so I'm gonna take it off. Okay, whew. Okay, now I can breathe. Um, so yeah, I, I might leave that on, might not. What you wanna do also is measure it with a Lego guide to make sure that you have the right height because you don't want it to have like a crazy long pole so his hands up that's that's a pretty long spear that's that's pretty pretty long I'm gonna trim it just a little bit but I do want to leave this ornate stuff at the bottom so I'm going to I'm just gonna trim off a little bit 
Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright. And once I get my workshop fully completed, once this Death Star is fully operational, this is going to be awesome. So anyway, um, once you do that, you're going to have this piece here, and then that's kind of, you know, generic. Now this is the probably the most important part, and this is where you can get really creative. This is going to be the blade, <clears throat> the blade for it, and I'm going to take, it might be hard to see if this glare, I'm going to take this little, this end piece right here. It's definitely more than enough, and it's going to cut it. Um, like I said, it's see-through, so it might be hard to see. It's like, I'm just like holding something like this, like, it's right here in my hand, do you see it? It's like, we don't see it. Um, <clears throat> so, I have this little piece here. Now, this you can't really go wrong, I mean, you, you kind of can, but at the same time, you can't. Um, I think I'm just going to do a generic spearhead, but this is going to be probably... Actually, no, I'm not going to do a generic spearhead. I'm going to do this a little differently. So, I'm going to cut almost like an arrowhead shape. I'm just going to cut a triangle shape out of the bottom. Now, you don't have to copy my designs or my ideas. You could do your own stuff. Whatever looks good for you. Trim that up a little bit. So, I'm going to cut that. I'm trying to get it. Uh, I wish I had a different, see if I had a different background, you'd be able to see it, I'm not sure. Anyway, you know what I mean. Maybe you don't, maybe you do. Let's do this. Can you see the shape? Actually, that was probably the worst idea I could have had. Do you see the shape? Aha! Okay, so cut out a little triangle piece at the bottom. Lock so. And then I'm going to repeat said process. A little bit higher up. Like I said, I've never done this before, so I don't know how it's going to go. So I cut two more angles there, and then I'm just going to leave it at two. We're good too crazy. So basically, I made a little Christmas tree, and I just realized that, so I'm not going to keep it. I ain't keeping it. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to trim it, like I said I was going to do it before. That's kind of cool. It's almost like the Star Trek symbol. Oh, also, tweezer bees. You'll need tweezer bees, which I think I might try to buy them, buy some, and put them on my, uh, my uh, eBay. Um, so basically, it's like an arrowhead almost, which is a pretty good shape. Be a little exaggerated, but. Um, we're just trying to get the basics down. I, I don't need to really show you different styles. I mean, I can do a different video on on different styles. Uh, this is basically just the how-to. How-to. Okay, so what we're going to do now, um, there are different ways to do these. Of course, you can make them so they can attach and come on and off. Um, that's going to be a little bit trickier with this. I'll probably do that with the sword because it will be a lot easier with that. Um, so what we're going to do is take the toothpick and then take the exact knife. And remember to be very careful because exact knives are sharp. And then we're just going to cut a little bit into the top. Now the toothpicks, they might splinter or, or break, so be careful because you don't want to mess this part up. Um, so basically what we're going to do, um, if you can see that, I just split this toothpick about that much. You want it to be enough that the, that the blade can actually go into the toothpick so it has a good grip on it. So then if I, once I glue it, it's going to be like that. This actually looks like a giant arrow. Basically, I'm making a giant, <laughs> I'm making a giant arrow, pretty much. Um, so that's what it's going to look like. And so now that you've, you've actually put the piece in, and you kind of tested that, um, <clears throat> this is where it's going to get a little tricky. My glue is giving me some trouble, so if it gives me trouble now, I apologize. Oh snap, okay, um, I don't know why it's doing this, but it's just like, I put a little bit of pressure on it and it just gushes out. So, let's go and put a little bit of glue there, and then before it dries, I'm going to poke this in the middle, kind of get it situated where you want it. You look left, you look right, and then I'm actually, I'm getting more tools than I said you might need, but 
like I said, I got what I thought I needed because I never had never had to do all these like this. Um, this is just duck bill pliers. I'm just trying to straighten it out a little. You want it, you want it to be straight. You want it to be even, even as best as possible. Now this can also determine how you cut that that slit into it. If you cut that crooked, then the the blade will be crooked. So. Um, it's not perfectly straight, but it's pretty close. So, and then of course that can just be bent because it is plastic. So yeah, I just bent it back in shape. So now that you have the the blade um, on, we are going to try to put the handle. So I'm gonna take off that platform. And what you do for that is, okay, I got them standing up right about here. I'm going to measure that. Now this I'm actually going to use a little marker because I don't want to cut myself. So I actually have a pen. Um, what I'm going to do is measure the top of his hand to the bottom. So basically that, in between those two marks that I just made right there, that's going to be where his hand can grab. And I may even put it a little bit above that because I, I don't want it to be too too close. Um, so now I look at my fabric and I'm like, well, that's wide enough to fit in between both of those, which is very good. Um, put my glue over there. <clears throat> now this, I'm just going to cut off a piece. I don't need to be precise. As long as I have it long enough, I can always just trim it. Um, so now we are going to take some glue, put it on the the back side of the fabric. Stick it right there. Now this can be kind of tricky because sometimes the fabric doesn't want to stick and glue gets to your fingers, but just push that on like so. And then this part is also kind of tricky. I'm sorry, the whole process is probably tricky. I just, I've done it a lot, so I'm probably make it look easier than it really is. Ah, see, it just got stuck to my finger. Um, alrighty, so we wrap that around about one time, and then I'm going to check to see if it fits into the guy's hand, which it does, which is good. Um, this is where you don't want it to go too much, because if you wrap it too many times, then you won't be able to hold it, but if you wrap it not enough times, then, um, then it's just going to go through his hand, and it's really hard to, like, add more fabric, so that's roughly, it's about one time, one time around, plus a little extra at the end. But again, it depends on your material. If you're using fabric or if you're using a different material, you might need to wrap it around more than once. Um, if you use yarn, like I said, the little thin like yarn stuff, then it's going to be, um, you just keep wrapping around. Um, so now that that fits perfectly into his hand, it comes, um, comes out pretty easy, goes in pretty easy, won't fall off, very sturdy. And then when he holds it, you can hold it up <clears throat> like so. And, and that is that. Now you can add a lot of extra details now. Because I'm trying to do a lot of different things for at once, I'm not going to go into details with that just now. Um, and by details, I mean I could add a lot of stuff to to this. I could paint this a certain way. Now if I, if I, if you guys want to see a tutorial on just how to make one, one of these, um, I can do that. Or, you know, I could always try to do, uh, it could be a really long, or I can edit it all together, and I haven't edited anything yet as far as like a lot of breaks in the videos, because I, I try to avoid that just because, for one, I'm not good at it, and two, I don't know if that's what you guys want to see, but I could, I can always do that and just do a, basically I'm just rambling right now, but if you want, I'm going to slow down for a second, if you want, <clears throat> me to do like the complete most detailed version of this possible I can do that now if you want to see these videos where I do multiple things in one video I can either do I could do that but there's going to be a lot of steps in between that I'm going to just going to edit out because it's going to be like to make this fully epic it's probably going to take me like 20 minutes or so just to do one granted it's already 14 minutes into it but I've been talking a lot um, so it's going to be like a long video to do three of these perfectly so you know what I mean so it's either getting the basics down which I'm trying to do that now 
or actually make one that's really good. Um, anyway, if you understood any of that, I kind of confused myself, but if you understood any of that, leave a comment down below. <laughs> Let me know. Um, so now basically I'm taking a Sharpie. Ooh, a Sharpie. Now I don't, I don't hate Sharpie. Sharpies are epic. They're awesome. They're great. I love them. Um, I just don't like customizing with them. I don't, I don't use a Sharpie for a substitute for paint. I'll say that. And because we're going for a viral blade, which is a see-through blade, it's basically made up of energy. We could not achieve the said process with paint. So I'm going to use these really awesome, colorful Sharpies. Now, um, I'm not sure if you can see any of this because I might have been doing it off, off camera because I wasn't paying attention where my hand was. So basically, I'm just going to marker this all up. Now, it doesn't matter if you get on, on the toothpick part. Like, I don't care about that um, because that's just going to be all painted. That You paint over all that. Um, so one is, once that is done and you paint it, like I said before, I'm just going to show you the basics. So that is how you do a Viber blade spear. Now there's other different ways to do this. I may do, I'm, gonna, I'm probably not going to make all these attachable and I'll do a different video on how to make the Viber blade come on and off because I, I kind of just want to stick to one theme and that's, that's not doing it um, with the blade that can be removed. So <clears throat> this may be a couple part series. I might do a couple parts for this. Um, actually, yeah, I can do the best of them with just one, one toothpick. <clears throat> And I, I know I need to get better at editing because it will make this video a lot easier for everybody. Um, I'm actually going to do... I think I'm going to do the axe next. I want to do the axe. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm working on editing and getting that stuff because it would be really cool to just be able to do this kind of video and get rid of all the in-between stuff. But I talk so much. I talk during the whole video. So what I'm doing, even with my gaming videos, I'm like, well, I'm talking. I don't want to, like, edit out me in the middle of a sentence just because I just want it to be shorter. So if you, I mean, my the average watch time on my videos, I I've, I've can see on my analytics, is like two minutes. So you, people who watch my videos probably don't even get to see the entire tutorial. So I don't know. It's kind of, I'm trying to figure it out because if no one watches the whole thing, why not just make it short enough that the people who do watch it can get a lot of information? So anyway, it's just a thought process. But anywho, um, now we're going to be doing the axe. So for this one, I actually have, I'm not going to use it. I have a curved uh, pair of scissors, but I'm not going to use them for this. So again, like the other one, we're just going to grab a, a slab of this plastic. Just cut a wedge, cut a wedge of it out. Um, now axe blades. Actually, I cut this wedge out, but it's in a weird shape, so it's kind of, it's kind of hard to like visual, visualize what the what the image is that I'm looking for because I can't see it. Um, so basically, we're just going to start at one top. Oh wait, no. I was going to do a curved one, but I'm going to do a reverse curve. So to start at the top, and then cut a little bit and then swing it up. It's going to be hard to see. Basically, you're going to cut a little, little loop out. And at the top of the loop on this side, we're going to... I'll show you and you'll understand it. You'll understand it. Go back. Hmm. That was not what I wanted. I'll take that. This is going to be a little bit weird. <clears throat> so we'll do that. And then right here, I'm going to loop that. It's kind of hard to, to talk and think at the same time right now. I'm having a slow day. I'm basically going to make this shape and then show you. Oh my goodness, this is a really exaggerated blade. Okay, so basically what I, happened, I did was I made a blade. But it made it really big, so I'm going to have to trim that back. Now, if you want to do something crazy like that, go for it. It's just not going to look realistic because a little Lego guy holding a weapon that's like as big as 
whole body may not be the most realistic thing. So, eh, <clears throat> this is going to be a big axe. Yeah, it's going to be a good axe. Okay, so, I cut out the axe blade. So, basically, I cut... So imagine this piece being square, like the piece of fabric behind it. I cut out a little loop, but I basically took a hole punch and cut that out. And then at the top of that, where the hole punch was, so imagine this whole top being flat. I started there, and then I cut all, just cut a little, cut a loop down. And then I started at this end. <clears throat> so I was holding it like this, and I just cut and swiveled in. I don't know if you understand that, but... Basically, you, I cut this shape out. Like, um, you can even look at it at this angle, and you just cut in that bow shape, cut two more curving in, and then you have that little piece there that's going to connect to the blade. <clears throat> um, if you don't understand how to do that, then I apologize. We apologize in advance. And if you need me to, I'll do... I See, I could spend more time if it was just an axe tutorial, or just a spear, or just a sword. So this was just an experiment, and if it doesn't work, if you guys don't, if you can't follow this type of video, then I won't do it because I do it for y'all, and I'll do it so it's easier. So I'm gonna put a little more glue. Wow, it's a lot of glue, a lot of glue. And then I'm going to, before the glue dries, wedge. Every time I say wedge, I think of the, um, the Star Wars pilot wedge. From, uh, what episode was that? I think it was A New Hope. I don't know. I can't remember the names. I feel ashamed. I'm like a big Star Wars fan, but I don't know the names of the Star Wars movies. Because I never, 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 no one ever told them to me. I never looked them up. I just watched the movie. Like, oh, sweet, this is the one with Darth Maul in it. Or, oh, this is the one with the Death Star. It's like, I, did, I remembered them from something else, you know. I'm dyslexic, so I never. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I was a more visual person, so I'm like, oh, this is the cool one with this part in it, not, oh, it's this name. I didn't go by the names. So anyway, I'm getting off topic of trying to teach you how to do this. Um, basically, trying to make this lined up. So um, I just attached this blade, which you can't see it because it's see-through. I'm sorry about that. The invisible blade. Invisible axe! Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Um, so now that I attach the blade to the handle, which is really cool because I use the ornate side of that. Yeah. Ornate's a very nice word. I just, I like saying it. So, we will put the handle on and then I will do the color of the blade. So, I don't really need to measure for the handle because I know I want it to be at the bottom. I want it to be at the bottom of the of the axe, so well. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay, he's gonna be holding it this way. So I'm gonna start the I'm gonna start the groove. I did this backwards. I'm supposed to put it on the fabric first, but I'm gonna start the groove on this side. So or the seam right there. So you hopefully won't be able to see it as well because if he's holding it, it's gonna be on the outside and yeah it's just a it's just a preference you do what you want so let's wrap that around i think i said it was like one and almost almost a half like one and a half was thick enough that might have been too thick actually let's see yeah so let's do Let's do one and a little sliver. Put some more glue there. So I can close that up. Sorry, I haven't really been looking at my camera to see like where my hands are. I'm, so if I cover stuff up, I'm sorry. I do the whole tutorial and I forget like my camera's like facing the ground or I'm not even in the view. So that is that. Very nice. I love the way that handle turned out. <clears throat> now, color time! I have a ton of different colors. All different sorts of colors. 
And I did this color for that. <clears throat> I think the axe would look cool red. Let's do red and see if orange works. We'll do a little bit of orange in there. I'm going to do orange first. So we'll take the axe. You'll probably be able to see this blade a lot better too once I um, do that. Uh, <laughs> rip it out of his hand. Once I paint it or mark it up, you'll be able to see it a lot better. And for the thumbnail, I'll probably have these finished. Maybe not. Maybe I'll leave them raw. Very nice, very nice. So we got an orange blade. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. <clears throat> now let's add a little bit of red. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I've never done this before. We've never done this before. Ooh, I like that. Lock the contrast between the red and the orange. Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. Probably shouldn't. Yeah, I'm gonna do a swirly motion because I don't like the way that it's. I have these lines. If I go straight like that, it puts these lines in it. So I almost basically just turned it red. But that's okay because that's a cool color. That's a really cool color, actually. Um, and there's so many different designs, and there's so many different things you can do with this. Like even now, I just thought of of painting metal up here and metal along the edges of this to make it seem like um, I actually probably might do that eventually. But put metal on here so the blade is coming out of that. Or not putting the metal, I, I would. That would just require a lot of a lot of work. Um, I could probably achieve the same thing with painting. Um, but I don't know. It's yeah. There's so many different ways to do things. So. That is the axe. And this video is going on 27 minutes. Whew. Well, now that I know, now or now that you know kind of the basics, the sword blade will hopefully go relatively quick. Now, Star Wars swords, you don't really, I don't know if you see a lot of Star Wars swords. I don't know if that's a thing. I feel like that's a, a like, it should be a thing. Like there's pirates and whatnot. It's like, I feel like a sword is, especially like in the comics and all that stuff like that, there's a lot of different planets that they didn't have guns, they just have spears and like medieval times. Even Jedis, they have swords. But, I'm talking about straight swords. So, we will need, or do I want to do a curved sword? It's kind of, I kind of want to do a curved sword. I've done a lot of straight swords in my day. Let's do a curved one. Kind of like a scimitar, or not scimitar, scimitar. If I'm going to do a, a different sword, I don't want to butcher the name. And this piece of um, plastic, I just cut off. It's already in a uh, interesting shape for this, so it's going to be an interesting shape sword. I have decided. Hmm. Let's use the hole punch again. Where's my hole punch? Where'd the hole punch at? Uh, get down the corner. Not bad, not bad. Um, uh, I want to cut this little piece off, but it's... It's too close to everything else. I'm not cut the piece. I just want to like thin it out a little bit. And that's going to need to be curved. I was like, oh, it's going to be a really crazy shape. But then I realized that that crazy shape didn't. I didn't like it. I didn't quite like it. If you don't like something, don't, don't. You don't have to settle for it. Don't got to settle for nothing. You are the artist, so whatever you want to do, you do. Ooh, let's do this to it. Oh, that's cool. So, you probably not be able to see this blade, but this is the blade that I cut out. Looks really nice. And then we will do the same process. Um, we will take the scissors, or scissors, sorry, exacto knife, 
cut the slit. Now it's a little bit trickier with the smaller pieces because you can accidentally cut the whole thing through like I, I basically just did. Um, so just be really careful with the smaller ones. Cut some glue. <clears throat> Make sure the glue gets into the crack because if it's just around it, it's not going to hold as strong. These are really strong bonds, so um, you won't have to worry too much about it. Make sure it's lined up. Again, I haven't been paying attention to where the camera is, I apologize. I'm just using these because my hands will get glue on them. And I want to kind of press the, uh, the toothpick back together because I, I did open it up. So, serving a couple purposes there. Alrighty. Now we're going to get some fabric going on in here. Going on in here. Got a little bit of our country accent going on up and trailer. Okay, so we've got a piece right there. I, I don't know why, I just start talking in accents. And it just, they just come and go. They just come and go. So, now we got that. We're going to, let's put this groove on the, on the actual groove of the toothpick. Press that down. Good, good, good. Now remember, it's about one rotation and a, like one and a half. Not one and a half, but like one and like, so that's one and then, um, actually I should probably get the one on first before I try to do anything else. One, and then I better double check. Always double check, even if you think, oh, I know, I know what it is, it's just this and that, like, no. <laughs> no, you don't know. You double check. So then I'm going to cut off a little bit of that. Put some glue on this little, little flap. Doesn't need to be a lot. Fabric glues to fabric, like, super quick. It's like insta-lock. Alrighty. Pew. Sweet. All right, fits in his hand perfectly. Now, I want to use yellow. Unfortunately, yellow, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do purple if I have it. Cause yellow smells bad, I don't know why. We have brown, I don't think you ever see a brown one. Yellow, it just has the craziest smell and it hurts my nose, so. It smells like cat urine. I'm sorry that offended somebody, but it does. And I, I don't know why, so I don't want to use it. This is actually a fine, ultra fine point. Sharpie. This is for like small details. This is not designed for this, but I, I like the color. Actually, I really like the color. Wow. This is a cool color. Cool, cool, cool. So, if I can get, okay, it's gonna be kind of tricky getting to the end of this. And then one thing I'm going to show you when I'm done painting or sharpening this is a good technique to keep keep it um, together or keep this on because this is a sharpie. This will wipe off once it dries. It's, it can get pretty permanent, but um, there's a little trick I do. I don't really need to go to the other side, but it, it will make it a little bit brighter on that side too. It's just a little technique to make the um the sharpie last and then it can kind of give it a cool technique if you do it right my older brother the um right night customs he can he kind of perfected it i'm still working on it so basically now that i have that painted or sharpied the top could be a little bit more pointed but here let me get this focused if it focuses okay so this is the blade it's a cool blade. Um, it, again, this is all just to show you the techniques, not necessarily make the coolest thing in the world. Um, so once you get the blade, if you put a little bit of glue, drop some glue on there. I'm gonna use this other piece of the toothpick and kind of swirl it around. I'm probably gonna mess this technique up, but I have way too much glue. <laughs> Then just like that, I messed it all up. 
But basically when you put this glue on here, you can swirl it, swirl the, the Sharpie around and it kind of gives it this swirly type texture. Um, and if, and if you do it right, actually it's probably going to dry how I want it. It kind of roughs it up a, a little bit and the glue also has a, a kind of a shine to it. And when you look at it, it kind of, it, again, this, this camera is not going to do it justice because not only do I have it on a really low setting, um, but it's, okay, that's pretty good. Um, you might not be able to see that on the camera, but it adds some really cool swirls to it so it actually looks more like a Viro blade. Um, Viro blade blade. So, it's something you guys can do. So anyway, that is that. Does this fit on the top of his head? No, it will not. Um, will this fit on the top of his head? Kind of, no it won't. Okay, I was going to try to see if he can hold all three, but he can't do that. So, anyway, that is how it is done. I can do more tutorials on how to do stuff more specifically. Um, let me know if that's what you want to see. I just wanted to try something, something new, and that's why this video is 36 minutes long. If you spent 36 minutes of your life on this video, thank you so much. And if you made it this far, you might as well fist pound that subscribe button. Bam! Um, also, don't forget to like this video, um, and to hitchhike it. Bam, 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 bam. I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, I need to think of a, a, um, a new word. So anyway, uh, yeah, if you guys liked it, it's awesome. Please let me know what you want to see next. If you have certain tutorials you want to see, please let me know down below. Leave a comment. Um, I know there's a lot of figures I want to make. Now that I have all this set up in a nice way, I'm going to be doing a lot more figures. Um, so let me know. I know what figures I want to be doing. Let me know what tutorials you want to see because the tutorials are the ones that I need your help with or because I'm doing them for you, um, let me know what you want to see. So if you got any information out of this, if you if you can use these techniques to make axes, swords, spears, whatever, I hope so. I hope it helps. If you do make any of these things and you do make videos, please let me know and I'll try to go check them out. Um, I like seeing people make stuff and I love customs and so yeah, if you make them, I will definitely go look at them. So with that being said, you all have an awesome, super fantastic day. God bless you all and don't forget to do your best no matter what, and if it takes you 37 minutes to do three little weapons, then hey, it's it's practice. And like I said, I'm gonna do another, another update showing you guys actually what I've done. And then up there, I actually found a lot more customs, not a whole lot more, like 30 something more. And then I found a bunch of heads, like black heads, and I'm going to put together all of those figures that in my last video I had that weren't completed. So that's gonna be cool. I'm gonna have like 100 more clones that are already done. So I'll probably do a video on that. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. I will put a link to all my other tutorials here. And then don't forget if you're the first person to leave a comment on my video, I'll give you a shout out up in here. So that's pretty cool too. Um, also, I'm going to do another video on painting and different types of paints to use because that's like people keep asking me that. So I'm going to just do a, a big old video on all the different paints. And then I'll put a link into the video constantly. Like every video, I'm going to put a link to the paint. So hopefully that will answer a lot of the questions people have. So anyway, y'all have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you later. Bye.